Germany is at half, half, they're halfway dead, they're halfway dead. Okay, we're eventually gonna reach the Cologne Dortmund uh, line. Which is what we love to see. This area right now is a little undefended, but I'm sure one of our allies can, you know, fill in that gap. Poland is looking, whatever the hell this is. They're, they're, they're existing, all right. We lose Kiev? Still no, but I mean, I think Kiev's actually open right now. The AI could just take it if they wanted to. Dusseldorf, the first city has fallen under Hungarian occupation. Essen is currently the German capital. I think the guys in the east really aren't doing anything. Whole position, whole position, just kind of stay where you are. You guys are at least somewhat pushing to Ukraine. Russia, they're finally actually making some progress here. The, uh, Russia still has not capitulated a single Reichspact country yet, by the way. Not one country on their side of the map has fallen. Okay, Cologne and Dortmund will, looks like it will fall in a second. Send some troops over to Magneburg. Magneburg still were 10 victory points, but it's not nothing. What's this? Oh, the, the uh, British came in here. They've actually got this whole area now technically encircled. Thank you, British unit, actually. Cologne has fallen. You're still pushing away into Essen. Germany's at 43%, which actually is still more than I thought they would be at this point. guys up you go over to Hanover Costa Rica's fallen oh, I guess I didn't actually see what is um Central America doing they've taken over Costa Rica and they're holding off Mexico right now it looks like this is probably gonna be a stalemate for a while Luxembourg is only worth one victory point so it's not really that important to the overall uh goals of the mission do you have any major? I guess you have Strasbourg for 15 victory points, something we do need to actually take. Okay, Essen Dortmund is still around. The CSA has fallen. Very, very sad news. I guess who do we want to win now? I guess. Maybe the CAR? I don't really know who we would care about in order to actually win the, um, win that war. Oh, we lost Essen again? Very sad. Okay, Blue Army, you're basically just going to be over to here. Yeah, I mean, our allies will be able to maintain this encirclement. Or at least they should be able to. If they can't, then, you know, what kind of allies do we have? Okay, move our way up to Kiel. You know what, you guys actually, for a second, stop attacking. Just reorganize yourself for a moment. It's Strasbourg, I mean, it's worth 15 work. Cool. Germany's at 38%. Like, they're close. Stettin... Danzig's kind of important as well. Oh, 
Uh, let's get Grand Assault. I think Dorma and Essen, they both fall. That actually might just be the end of the war. Which I'm completely A-OK -okay with. We're, we're slowly pushing up this way. Does that actually go three provinces? It does. It's only only these two. Actually, no, no, no. I lied. I'm ha, funny joke. All three. And you're never going to join this four. And yeah, I don't think any of you are going to uh, do anything meaningful. The 66 here. Hold, hold off your attack. Germany's been removed from the... I didn't actually know they could happen. Okay. Germany's been removed from the Legation Council. Now let's see if we can maybe get some more coverage over Dortmund. How come Germany isn't dead yet? Because we need to get them down to around somewhere between 25 and 30% um, capitulation. And right now they're just a little too... Um, because could they, have do, do, could they have these two cities. If we took these two cities or maybe Hamburg. I guess the Hamburgs were 40. We could take them as well. Like they're close for sure. All in New Orleans. Is there a way for me to get to Hamburg easily? How much is Danzig worth? Danzig is worth 15. So you're only at 17 out of 24. You've actually lost a lot of men on that front. Uh, we put the pressure here. You know the problem is actually we don't have any air superiority in the area. That'd probably help. Uh, do we have any airports closer by? Yes, we do. Throw in any close air support we have. Fly it over here. Throw in any, I don't know, interwar bombers? Not naval bombers. I don't care about those. Throw in some tactical bombers. Do the same thing. Get an air coverage over Germany. Force attack your way through. Please just take the cities, I beg of you. Sten is worth four. You think at some point Germany would realize, like, hey, maybe... This isn't all going according to plan. Apparently, they have not so far to realize that. Its priority is affecting them 13%. Not crazy, but not the worst either. in onto Strasbourg. Don't know how the ball... Like, I don't know how Russia's done such a poor job. 
99 to 164. They finally, I think, have capitulated the Finns, but... Like, come on now. It's been, it's been a while, let me just put it that way. Capture Ukraine operative. Dortmund is finally about to fall. It's going to be another 20 war score on our side. That pushes Germany down to 34%. Really? That's why I think it's something a little bit more grandiose, but okay. Keep up the pressure, keep up the pressure. Once we're done defending this, we can attack this province, cut this area also away from the capital, because again, the capital is... Technically in Hamburg, so this area would be kind of cut off from supplies, depending on how you want to look at it. to Strasbourg for a second. Just a Stra uh, Strasbourg. What we might need is for let's say Pink Army. Pink Army, delete your orders for now. And just come here as fast as humanly possible. Basically like that. Just basically try to surround Essen. You're just going to spearhead your way towards Hamburg. defense. Air superiority is not great in East Germany. Have some air coverage. For our troops into Strasbourg. It's going to be another 15 victory points for us. 34. Like, you just want... They're so close to just being dead. That I really think you should just die. Did you, take, you actually did take back Kiev. Somehow from behind our lines, you took back Kiev. There we go. Kiev has fallen again. Ukraine's still not actually dead, though. They're close, but they're not actually there yet. Strasbourg's under heavy fire. Again, Hamburg, Lubeck, Kiel. All, all nice cities. I mean, I guess Kiel's only worth five. And they're going to keep on attacking us for a little bit longer. It's not going to last for too long, though. Come on, 93, 94. You're close, you're close. 98, 98, 99. Okay, yeah, go this way. You go here. Yeah, I, th I think we're just going to take Hamburg. It's going to be the easier target. Strasbourg will fall, I think, in a second anyways. Yeah, there's Strasbourg. So they're now dead. We've technically have done 35% of the wars. Is that more than 
Yeah, it's by far the most in the in our faction. It's actually the most out of anybody. Princely Federation has apparently done 15%. Russia's done 21. The thousand from occupation. 1700 from occupation. I don't know. I guess it's all that really just because you occupied one city or occupied one country. You've lost land, I think, elsewhere. I think everywhere else we're actually. Okay, hold position for a moment. This is very weird Bohemian border they got going on. There we go. Collapse of the Reich's Pact. You absolutely love to see it. So what happens to does the German government exile? It does still exist. They still got the same uh, tree and everything. They still got Hofsland. Good for them. Wilhelm didn't even die before his empire collapsed. Okay, so. Russia. You will get Finland. And legitimately, I think that's honestly all I'm going to give you. <laughs> Is there like a border strip of here? I will give you, like, the border of, um... I will give you, like, the border of here, but I honestly think that's about it. That's all you deserve. France, I'm assuming you took Malta. I don't really know who took it, but you can have it. And White Ruthenia, I'm going to give to myself. Now we just gotta, you know, clean up the rest of the Reich's pack, basically. This border doesn't matter anymore. Germany is now completely dead. Give them Ruthenia? Never. Um, France will get the Ryland. And then I'm honestly going to take the rest. And then Japan can have Germany's Asia. Congratulations to them. Lithuania should fall soon. Again, we're all we're, we're still technically at war with um. We should get decisions here too. You need to give the UAB a handover. I mean, the AI is just gonna give it back to uh. Whatever Germany gets formed, anyways. Who are we at? Who are we at war with right now? Sweden and then these guys in Europe. Technically, the Entente, but I, don't, I honestly don't think we're gonna be really. Worrying about the Entente too much. Okay. Fate of Germany. New German Union. Release North Germany. Release four countries. Occupy Prussia. You know what? A new German Union. Split, split. <laughs> I've already clicked the button by the time I read your comment. But a new German Union is formed. Break the Germany. Look, I, it, it's too late. I, I've already... I've already pressed the button. <laughs> oh, crowd's angry. Oh, but the st I didn't even realize that the Spanish Civil War was still ongoing. Japan, Japan actually wanted to send me volunteers. Well, they wanted to for a moment. And White Ruthenia. Liberate a friendly white Ruthenia. I think socialist white Ruthenia has like a pretty decent flag. If I'm remembering correctly. Yeah, I think this flag's kind of cool. I like with their little stripey thing here and their big emblem. I think it's definitely like a neat little uh, flag. The delete, delete. 
Um, I don't know where I even send my units anymore. I guess we'll send them all to an army here, then an army there, then another army to Lithuania. Then this army to Lithuania. Lithuania has died. Welcome Lithuania to the fold. And it looks like the British have actually landed their troops into the south here. So I guess we'll send the troops up into Sweden to support them. Did they ever add the DSR into... Yeah, I mean, th this will be fixed eventually. Did they ever add the DSR into uh, the New Order? I know it wasn't in the game uh, to begin with. By the way, I guess with Rio de Janeiro Fallen, like, how is Argentina? Okay, Brazil's looking pretty sad. Like, who's down there? Is it mostly just, yeah, Chile? France actually sent a lot of units down towards the south. At least are, all, are, are these Chilean units given to France? No, they're all French units. France actually put way more men down there than... I would have expected, at least. How many troops does Swedish have? Sweden has... 7 to 29, so less troops than we have. Or restored in Czechia. Ukraine's still not dead. How? I don't... It's like, I want to give Russia land, but, like, when they when they do this shit, and they just, like, can't... ...effectively fight any... Like, I... It's just a balls like duchy by them lone... By their lonesome. How are you having so much trouble with this? Okay, I guess we need to take back Kiev. I don't know how the AI just keeps on sneakily taking Kiev behind my back. Maybe I guess that's why they haven't capitulated yet. Maybe if we take Kiev, we'll, uh... We'll finally get there. By the way, any of you guys want to join the Internationale? No? Not even a little bit, huh? I guess it doesn't really matter at this point, but, you know, it's the, it's the principle of the thing. Like here's okay. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna get the attaché with Russia. I'm curious about like what their problem is. They just don't have that many men. Where where is their so where's their army? Like how many do they only have like 55 units? Ukraine's finally died. So, you know, let's take over this land. And you know what? As a sign of good faith, I will let Russia annex the border re these border regions. Because I am nice. Apparently, you also capitulated. So, again. I think we'll t you can have that. I will take over this area here. Oh, that's going to be a funky looking... I didn't realize how funky that Ukraine's going to look. But that's okay. Funky Ukraine. Are you still fighting? You're still fighting these guys, huh?
guys go up to Stockholm. We're liberating uh, Norway. Get rid of the Ukraine penetration. I don't, I can't, because State Tanso Tool uh, does not work in Kaiser Redux. So it, it's just going to do that. Yeah, there's like, there's nothing I can actually do about that. Khrushchev, welcome. Fate of the Kubin. Right, I guess we'll release Kubin. We can leave the pack. What pack is this? Oh, because we're in alliance with Poland. Very strange. I don't know. Okay. Like, whatever you say, game. So whatever you say, game. Again, if you're watching the stream right now and you're not already following, I do recommend you hit the follow button so you can, you know, see the streams as they go live. And also, you know, if you want to help support the stream financially as well, you can subscribe with, free with Twitch Prime. Or Twitch Gaming. I think they changed what the name is, but you know what I mean. Or for $4.99 per month, I really appreciate it. We take Stockholm? Yes. He's going to die in a moment. Baltic Duchy, Brazil. I think, like, once Sweden is dead, I'm okay calling it a campaign. Go here. That's technically a finished territory. Russia's moving in from the north. Okay, so. Central America's dead. Eh. So what? Not a big deal. Sweden's. Okay, Sweden's dead as well. I mean, here's like the weird thing, right? Well, Finland is technically, I think, a puppet of Russia. So they're gonna give Finland like this weird thing here. And then we are going to... I guess Britain can kind of have Sweden. We got we got thick old Finland here. Yeah, we're still technically at war with these guys, but that's not a big deal. The Baltic Duchy... Yeah, now you're also dead. So we're going to take Coraline and Riga. Uh, Russia can have the rest... How's that worth 600 points? I guess because we didn't take Riga. Okay, Russia, you can have the rest then. No, I think I conquered Estonia. But I'm going to give it to the Russians anyway. And that should basically be the war over. I don't think we're still at war with this guy. We can send two super. Like, it's like I would. Here we go. Now we got the tiny Swedish commune. Okay, let's liberate Latvia. Apparently, we haven't even released um, Lithuania yet. I'm not too sure what's up with that. Are we ever going to release Lithuania? I don't really know. And there's also just the Italian Federation doing its own thing. I guess not. I guess Lithuania is now permanently just part of our country. And we can't do this because we are... Exist. Not a faction. Not a fighting... Okay, we're technically fighting on the same side of a war as uh, Bulgaria. So Lithuania, I apologize, but you're under permanent military occupation now. I didn't really call the shots. It just kind of is what happened. And I guess that, at least for right now, I mean, just hit a little after 3 o'clock. I think it's going to be a good time for us to end uh, Kaiser Redux for today and the Hungarian series and end the stream as well. So thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, remember, follow the YouTube if you're not already. Follow Twitch, join Discord. Follow the stream if you're not already. And next week, this week, actually, because I've played so much Harsh Fire Forward this week, we're going to add a lot more variety next week. So tune in for that next week. Uh, but for now, have a great day, and goodbye.